Welcome back everybody, I'm Steven and today we're talking about a deep dive into the world of the customization with a step-by-step -step guide of using the custom CSS field to the Shopify. So whether you are a coding pro or you're starting this tutorial will empower you to add a post on top to your Shopify store. So getting started first of all is to locate the custom CSS field. Now the first things first is to find this custom CSS field within the Shopify administrator. I'm going to be uh, leaving you guys a link down below in the description so you can all get started truly for free here into Shopify. So once we are here into our Shopify, what you want to do is to go into your dashboard. Inside your dashboard, focused into online store. Once you click into the online store, there's two things that you can do speaking about the custom CSS field. So whether you wanted to go here into the three dots and go for edit the code or edit the default theme code, and you can see that there's a lot of coding in double S, uh, C double S stuff. But what you wanted to do is to focus only into the small custom CWS field to do something specifically for our store. So let's go here for customize. And now that we are here to customize, let's go for a specific product. For example, you could look here into clothing t-shirts and I have, for example, this one. So I choose it. There we go. So now as you can see here, we are inside our uh, customization of our product. So it actually looks really great so far, right? So let's say, for example, that I wanted to add in a specific blocked. So usually what everybody does is to go for add blocked and go for custom liquid. Inside the custom liquid here, you can enter in a specific liquid quote. For example, let's say that I wanted to change the colors of the font. So I'm going to be using this liquid quote. But let's say that I wanted to go for something different. So I'm going to go back here. I choose my custom liquid quote and I delete this. Now, to find the CSS, instead of going for the add section, what you want to do is to go directly into theme settings. Inside theme settings, I'm going to go and scroll all the way down. And as you can see, we have the custom CSS. Inside the custom CSS, we can add custom styles to our entire online store. If you click into learn more, it's going to be opening in a new Shopify help center where you can see that there is a lot of considerations for using the custom CSS thing. For example, adding the rules of at import, at charts, and at namespace. Those cannot be used. The only rules that can be contained, for example, is this stuff. This symbol, at media symbol symbol add container symbol and suppose are permitted so that's the reason why you want to focus and try to do something like that so to add this stuff into your products let's say for example that here i have the custom c double s to change in a specific color so let's go here and as you can see i changed it the title of my actual product so um, yes, you might be needing to have just a little bit of general knowledge speaking about the CSS basic um, and adding coding. But if you don't know anything about coding, what I can truly suggest to you is to use ChatDVD or any specific artificial intelligence helper that can be helping you to do what you want to uh, add into your product. So for example, let's say that instead of uh, green, I'm gonna change this from red for green. Uh, let's say dark green like this so much better and now let's say let's assume that you don't know anything about coding so what i can totally suggest to you uh to do when it comes to coding if you do know how to use chat dbd now chat dbd is going to be helping you to do a lot of stuff so for example let's say that you wanted to get started by showing up let's say only one image so here into chat dbd let's say for example i want to display um one image of a product at the top give me a c double s code so what's going to happen here is the chat dvd is going to be helping you to showing of course an actual code so what you just need to do is to choose this c double s file and replace it into the image container with the actual class or ID of the container holds your product image. So I can do exactly the same thing here into custom C double S often a specific product. So for example, here let's go for t-shirts. Inside of t-shirts, I, I choose this one. I go for theme selection, custom C double S, and I paste the code that was, uh, of course, generated for me, which in this case, I will be actually this one. So I copy it, I go back, instead of using this code of only red color i'm gonna go back select all of it delete it 
and paste this new code. What's gonna happen here is that this code should be showing me in a specific product. So as you can see, what I need to do is to use the hashtag of an image container. If you don't know where to find the image container, once again, you can ask ChatGPT where I can find my image container ID. And here is my ID. So you just copy it, just paste it. And as you should see now, it should be apparent my actual banner or whatever we actually created. So that's how you apply custom styles. If you put a little bit of knowledge into the action, diving into the practical examples, applying custom styles using the custom CWS field, from phone changes to color tweaks, you'll see that the magic unfold. So transforming the look and feel of your store with a touch of custom CWS magic can help you a lot to, let's say for example that I wanted to change the color description and I don't see here the way to change the actual description here. So what you can do is to tell ChatGPT to help you to change the color and so on and on and on. So uh, that's how we can use the actual implementation of the custom CSS. If you want to know more about the custom CSS information, you can always go into the Shopify Hub Center and you can see that we have a lot of resources about adding custom CSS to your themes and actually they come helping you with different resources. And for example, video tutorials, webinars, business courses, community events, and so much more, just in case you want to know more about it. So congratulations, we have just unlocked a new level customization for your Shopify store guys. Once again, remember to experiment is key, so feel free to play around and discover what works best for you. What I can totally suggest to you if you're just experiment is to make sure that you are duplicating your store into the three dots, duplicate your store and then do whatever you want to because you're having an actual copy of it. So you have to be worried about to destroy what you already have done. So if you find this tutorial helpful guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Drop your questions or share your seed and we'll add success stories into the comments below. Remember you have the link down below in the description guys. And I'll be catching you into the next video. So well guys, happy coding.